The following is made possible by the ARPIN Group and by Renewable Now. The International Society of Sustainability Professionals presents ISSP Profiles in Excellence, where leaders in sustainability share their experience so that others may learn. In this edition, we feature Stephen Levitsky of American Sugar Refining. I'm Steve Levitsky. I'm the uh, Corporate Sustainability Director at uh, American Sugar Refining. Um, I have uh, my professional background, education-wise. I've got a, a BS in Environmental Resource Management, uh, an MBA, uh, both from Penn State University. Um, I've worked in the environmental and sustainability field for over 20 years now. Uh, ISSP, I, I, I had uh, been in the environmental industry uh, for a long period of time, wanted a more transition to a, a sustainability focus versus uh, just environmental. And uh, so I, I decided to reach out and try to figure out, you know, a, a typical of what a person would do, Google, and try to find out who's out there, who's doing what, um, how could I get involved, and, and, uh, and ISSP came up uh, and looked like a, a good organization. Um, and uh, and through, uh, actually through LinkedIn, I became connected to several individuals and just started the conversation. Um, and, and from there, uh, I built the, the relationship and, and went to the first conference. I started the Sustainability Professionals Group on LinkedIn in uh, February 2008. It was uh, probably the first week they had opened up groups in LinkedIn. And, uh, and so uh, I named it Sustainability Professionals because that's where I wanted to go. That was the vision for myself. And I thought, well, how better to, to build that uh, relationship and, and network than with a group. Um, I, at the time, I had no idea it would grow to the point where it is today. Um, this week, we were checking it was 98,250 people are in the group. Wow. And it's all over the world. It's not just the US. You're, you're talking, you know, I'd say almost every country in the world has at least one person that's, that's in the group. Um, and that was actually kind of interesting to watch how that unfolded, where you see a, a sustainability professional that would, uh, you know, would join from the UK. And then all of a sudden, there'd be 20 the next week. Then there'd be 50, then 100. Then, and you just see actually countries explode and, and see that sustainability profession is, is something that people want to be associated with, want to find like individuals to communicate with and, and use the group to, to discuss topics about sustainability. I think it, just like the group I built on LinkedIn, I think actually the ISSP group is, is more focused. Um, and I think the, the uh, uh, there's more of a personal touch to it, I, at least for me personally. I, I think there's a, you know, the conference here has been great to, you, you have LinkedIn, you can communicate online, but there's, there's kind of that, that interaction between other professionals that are dealing with the same issues you are. Um, you know, I, I think everybody I spoke to this week had similar downfalls, frustrations, but also great wins and, and also kind of, it, it was, um, we kind of joked about it somewhat being a you know, group therapy of, of sustainability professionals talking about some of the issues you run into, but then how do you come up, you know, get, get over those issues and move past them and, and build sustainability within your, your organization. My, my vision is a, a, a lot, much larger group of individuals. As, as the profession grows, we want to grow with it. Um, and and I, I see certification as being one of the big things that, that we need to tackle and move forward. Um, I, I talked to multiple uh, people in the industry who have uh, concern that you want to make sure they're, they're putting a stamp on that they're credible, that they understand the, you know, the, 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 the different educational aspects of, of sustainability, and they want to show it with a certification of some kind. Um, so I, I think the, the, you know, there's several things we want to build um, the body of knowledge that we already have, have built at this point and, and add on to it, build a certification program around it, and then build the membership to, you know, to the point that, that we've got a, a large group of, of professionals that are certified and, and, um, and again, have a similar uh, conference, but much larger. You have a lot more, more network to, to work with and, and people to communicate with. Uh, personally, I, um, I used to hunt and fish a lot when I was younger. I uh, was always in the outdoors, skied, everything outdoors, and, uh, and decided that I wanted to do something in that, that area. Um, 
I went through the environmental resource program at, um, at Penn State, and it was a, a multidisciplinary program that really went around and, and looked at multiple facets of a systems approach, um, which they developed it in the 70s, which is, is amazing that they thought of, of it in that way in the 70s, but it, it's something I think that um, we talked about in this conference, and I talked to, to professionals all the time about the fact that it's difficult to get people who don't think in a systems approach to think that way. So I um, went into the environmental field, and as I went into you know, permitting environmental issues and working on uh, remediation and cleanup of sites and wetlands, I realized that I kind of liked all of it. And, and so stepping back, I looked at it and said, well, this is sustainability. It's, it's you know, I like, now that I know a lot about, or maybe a little in some areas, about multiple items, I want to take all of that and use the systems approach to, you know, to tackle problems. And so it, you know, that is sustainability. And, and that's where I uh, probably 10 years ago, I said, okay, I'm, I'm in environmental. I need to take the next step and, and, uh, and bring it all together. I think that the, uh, the main difference between an environmental professional and a sustainability professional is, is the fact that environmental, you're, you're purely focused on, on the environment. And usually it's a silo of the environment, whether it's wetlands, soils, uh, you know, wastewater, uh, air. Uh, on the sustainability side, you're trying to bring people, planet, profit, if you're looking at triple bottom line, um, or you know, just mainly the, you know, the environmental and social aspects of, of the program. And so the, you know, I think the main difference between environmentalism is you're looking at very specific silos within that, that industry versus sustainability professionals are using a multi, multidisciplinary approach to, to do a systems uh, look at, at the problem. So. Visit sustainabilityprofessional.org for more about profiles in sustainability excellence and other exciting programs from ISSP, the world's leading professional association of sustainability practitioners.